Welcome <coughs> to this year driving moment brought to you by the Sovereign Light Radio Broadcast Anchor FM and made also available on six other different platform distributions. Today is going to share with us her experience of her life being one with nature and her inspiration, passion of wood carving creations. Born on December 12, 1974, in Sumperk of the Czech Republic. How is it? Schumperk. <coughs> Schumperk of the Czech Republic. <laughs> Maria Haralambizu immigrated to Greece. In the 1983 with her family who now live in Thessaloniki, Maria decided in the 19, oh, 1999 to move to the um, summer home in the suburbs with her animals and in walking distance to the Veria beach of Halkidiki. From the northern parts of Greece and just east of the Saloniki on the westernmost peninsula of the three and named after the prophet Cassandra. It is also well known for being Aristotle's birthplace. In this Mediterranean forest <laughs> that gives way to pebble and sandy beaches, Maria has found her sanctuary. Here she has her home and on a piece of land where she grows her very own fruits and vegetables, including turmeric and other herbs and spices. While on the beach, her friend's boat awaits for the adventure to catch some fish and maybe an octopus or two. Maria in the early 90s was a sish kebab business owner on the Veria Beach boardwalk called Mama Mirka. This is where all the tourists gather in the summertime. During the off season is where you would find Maria training children to ride her horses, Lupita and Leila. As a horse breeder, the experience of living with horses and riding them on the beach is something truly admired about Maria. Her freedom, however, came with great responsibility to own such beautiful creatures and where the olive groves consume the stables on a dirt road path. Along with her horses, she has Pepik, an African gray parrot, and while mushrooms hunting has been known to find instead a few stray dogs that she can save by adopting them. Her cats absolutely love resting on strewed pieces of olive bark from on her property. And in 2018, she started up another business with her wood carving craft that she's so most passionate with from driftwood found on the beach whilst creating beautiful pendants and other wood sculpting creations during the rainy and winter days. 
and her company is called Wood Wild Products. And her favorite quote, her motto is, Zise kate mera san ine iteleftea. And to interpret this, carpe diem, uh, other words in other words, in English, is not to only seize the moment, but live within the moment, not what happened yesterday or worry about tomorrow, rather live every day like it's your last. And with this uh, introduction and how she will share with us her experience and wisdom living one with nature and wood carving creations. Maria? <laughs> Thank you. It was very nice introduction. <laughs> and so, Maria, the thing here is, is that um, I also speak Greek. I also was born in Greece. And when we met, my father told me, I think before he passed away, he was telling me about you and this place on the boardwalk. And yeah. in this moment right now, for our audience, because there might be some Greek audience here and they're going to be like, what? what is I don't understand what she is saying. Maybe we need some, um, you know, in writing uh, word interpretations here, you know. Yes. And so in case you can't interpret because you understand what I'm saying and I understand what you're saying, if you need to say it in Greek, I will then reinterpret it in English. And if there's something that I cannot say in Greek, then please, by all means, so that we can have more uh, of, of a bandwidth of audience. And it's like, remember in 2000, when last time, oh yes, we were in this experience before. I can go as far back as 2011 with the last partner I ever had. And we were at the Dalfinia and we were sitting down discussing things. Mm -hmm but she could not understand a word of English. And if someone under the consumption of alcohol and what have you can understand what we're saying is because I was interpreting anything that, you know, so let's make like we have someone who's English who doesn't understand a word of Greek and let's pretend in, remember, remember in the last time I saw you was with my mother at my property in yes. Greece, because yes. we're kind of neighbors there right and um, yes. the thing is is that my mother could not understand when we speak in english so i would have to interpret or someone in greek so this is where we're at right now okay yes. <laughs> and so maria you know i i just really amazed how you can you can live off the grid like this do you have any advice for people like me who want to let's say buy a property and get some land and and you know and i don't know but right now you're experiencing some really chilled winter months there and how are we going to survive in the cold winter days with snow everywhere can you can you tell us <laughs> your experiences right now in greece with all this i don't know for uh, for canada but for greece uh i think that uh who grown his own food is, is a free man you understand what i want to tell yes huh? yes yes it's because this is taking your power and the connection that we've been so disconnected from the earth nature and all of matriarchy and yes. we have been so disconnected from it and abuse in the power that we give to others in the form of patriarchy and politics and what they've done to to us that we have to take our power back and become sovereign beings within our own light our own awareness like my father used to say to me when i was younger and could not understand and this is in my book too xipna maria <laughs> wake up yes wake up yes. maria because yes. if if we don't wake up we can't just go with our hearts either when yes our heart should be in the driver's seat but at the same time we must have wisdom we must be enlightened and we must be aware and um apocalyptica apocalypse is not a bad thing it's a greek word meaning to uncover 
all the hidden things means to wake up and this is what this connective radio station that i've created here uh, as providing this service and on all the social medias like this video that we're creating right now as well is is to bring people together to bring this light forth so that we can become empowered and connected and we have to also remember that we are one with the earth and all that is natural and organic so yes. maria please share some wisdom of your experience how with what it's like to live off the earth like this and all the fruits and abundance that through your hard work is is rewarded to you uh, first of all you save a lot of money <laughs> because you don't have to buy anything okay you have everything in your garden fruits vegetables uh, and uh, you know what you eat because you don't uh, put um, um, lipasmata. Uh, right, you don't, lipasmata means fertilizer, but you mean the pesticides? Chemic things. Pe to the Yes, the chemicals, the pesticides yes. that you're referring to, yes. Yes, yes, it's uh, everything, it's uh, clean. Uh, and uh, bio, biologica. Biological, yes, organic, yes. Now, organic, yes, I know exactly. it's very important to maintain a fertile soil. How can you, how can you help us here to advise? The number one thing is your soil that brings these beautiful fruits and yes. vegetables. Uh, what exactly? do you put inside to make it very rich and abundant with mana with you know uh, this yes yes, yes. Uh, i have uh, the horse manure i collect uh, and uh, i also collect all the leaves from the trees uh, and uh, everything it it uh, what i throw from my garden away it it, it all comes uh, to one side and uh, i mix it every two three months and uh, this is the best uh, biological fertilizer for for the garden you're saying you clean up after your horses and you clean yes. up your land from all the olive uh, leaves. Yes. The and leaves, yes. This yes. is the best. This is the best. Okay. So how do you make like, you know, the neutrinos, like the rich soil, uh, you know, because I know that Greece has really dry soil. I mean, like it's really dry. It needs like really, you know, you need to put things in it do you also recycle your garbage like yeah, the food yes. okay no no the garbage from the food uh, from the vegetables uh, from uh, apples when you all the waste you you have from uh, from food okay not from uh, plastic things okay and you have to put it uh, all together and it will be a very nice it it uh, it's warm inside that eat and make this uh, <laughs> I was say, yeah. it's so important to have worms to to be yes yes they, yes they are very important yes they are very important because they they make the 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 soil so uh, good you wanted to know what the word was and i was thinking decomposition <laughs> that comes from funeral background but also uh, composting, it's called. Composting, yes, yes. Uh, I'm so sorry for my English. You know, um, I understand everything. Uh, I have a little problem to talk because I have no practice. I'm not talking with uh, nobody <laughs> English. And uh, I forgot a lot. You're doing great. I'm the same way with my Greek. This episode, how do you say episode? Epcombi? Epcombi episodio. Ineke Yatuselines, it's also made available for the Greeks. Yosipukatalavemune, <laughs> for all those who can understand. 
and um, you know maybe I can talk slower to for everybody to understand. <laughs> I understand you can uh, speak uh, quick if you want, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I have a problem with my, uh, with my English, but uh, yes, now, you, Maria, speak, you know, can you, you know, you're going to tell us, you know, I don't know, but you can live off the land all year round and not rely on the supermarkets or yes. Yes, I wake up in the morning. I have my own olives. Olive, you know, we make olive. We have uh, the oil, olive oil from uh, <coughs> our olives. Uh, I have everything in my garden. It's night uh, here, and I can't show you that I have uh, uh, almost everything. Um, and uh, we have also uh, big refrigerators and uh, uh, we have everything uh, frozen inside it, it, uh, from the summer. We have tomatoes, uh, piperies, um, peppers, yes. peppers and uh, spinach and everything. Uh, it's in a, a small box in the refrigerator, in the stikataptixi. Frozen. Freezer? Frozen. Freezer, so, yes. yes. And, uh, so I, I have all the year, uh, so I can cook uh, with my own vegetables all the all the year. Okay. I open the refrigerator. I take a bag with the tomatoes. I take a bag with uh, peppers, and I make. Uh, uh, I can <sighs> cook. You understand? I have everything. Uh, I I almost uh, not um, buying uh, anything except okay. some with some uh, lemons I buy uh, and uh, that's it some potatoes. <laughs> now, how big is your your the you know? Uh, I got them. Yes, how big is it? <laughs> The garden, it's uh, almost uh, 500 meters. Okay. I don't know how it, uh, how it's in a... Uh, yeah. Are, um, you know, we're not American here. We're Canadian. I mean, ah, I'm Canadian. Okay. So <laughs> meters is just perfectly fine how you put it. Ah, okay, it's 500 meters. But uh, I have uh, almost uh, 2,000 meters around my house that I have to deal uh, with it. I have the uh, horses, the paddock for the horses, um, and uh, I have to clean all around so everything must be clean. So I, I have no problems with my neighbors after. And yet, so you know, it's funny how we actually did meet at a supermarket when we met. Yes, <laughs> you hardly yes. go to the supermarket. I remember. <laughs> and you know, um, what else I was going to say? Uh, no, I, I don't can't remember. Yes, do you, do you also grow food inside, like have like some kind of dome uh, also that you can grow in case you have winter all year round like what do you recommend you have, you know no 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 look uh, it, it's almost uh, we have a good weather all the year almost uh, it's now uh, 20 days that uh, we had uh, this uh, temperature was around uh, zero and minus um, and i put a lot of uh, my flowers and uh, my pot inside your plants, I, your, your children, yes. <laughs> I can show you, but uh, and some banana trees uh, outside and some palms. I just put something around to pro protect uh, po from um, from yes. the freeze. Freeze. Uh, yes, yes. Maria, you know, is it possible? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, you gotta talk so we can see. Ah, uh huh. Okay, 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 okay. 
I just, uh, I have some, some of my favorite uh, flowers inside, bougainvilliers and uh, hibiscus here. And this, uh, this Christmas cactus, oh, do you see good. the flower? Yes. It's very nice. And some of my tafitamu, uh, Yes. Okay, so Maria, is it safe to say that we can do this again another time in like the summer or spring or something where we you can show us outdoors and we can go outdoors and you can take a tour and teach us some of your herbology and, uh, you know, because I know you're very gifted with all this knowledge, uh, you know, from your experience uh, firsthand that you know you had no choice but to learn right you were kind of here it is you got to learn how to how to live off the land and my number one concern because i know greece is like kind of california weather where everything is like dry and i know that the the earth isn't very fertile to be able to do everything so that's why i was stressing the importance of how it is that you make the the dirt the land fertile enough to do this and what kind of water are you using uh what kind of water yeah yes uh, first of all i i collect the rain water oh my gosh <laughs> yes it's not a very big uh, thing but uh, i i use it uh, to uh, for watering for my flowers and it's it's the best because it's very soft in a malakoto yes um, the, the 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 rain the the rain is soft water you're saying yes yes it's it's the best but uh, uh but it it has also eggs from uh, mosquitoes inside <laughs> so you have to water only the the flowers you have outside the house because if you make the mistake and take the this uh, uh, rain uh, water and uh, and put it uh, inside the house to your flowers you will uh, have a lot of mosquitoes inside after oh so the water has like the eggs the larva from the because it's outside it's imagine some uh, some holes with water, with rain water, if, 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 they, if uh, this water stays a lot of days, it gets dirty and smells and a lot of mosquitoes goes inside. It's like a valtos. You know what it, me what it means, valtos? No, no. No, it's uh, where opunestasima tanera, when it's the water stagnant. somewhere. Stagnant huh? water, stagnant water. Okay. It's, it's the same. If you take a barrel, a barrel and you put uh, water inside, after a few days from the sun, the, the barrel will be green inside. Okay, moss, uh, algae. And yeah. it comes and comes the mosquitoes and it comes the flies and make eggs inside oh, and okay. after you see frogs oh, <laughs> okay. oh yeah and now imagine if you take this water and put it to your uh, to your um, flowers inside the house oh. uh, what will happen it will um, the mosquitoes will um, hatch yes <laughs> yes oh so you know rainwater you're gonna have to catch it and and reserve it before it goes on the ground and somehow have some kind of container to catch it right <laughs> before it yes, goes you catch it but uh, 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 you can put a sita sita popano uh, a screen yes so nothing comes inside the water and uh, with this way you can keep it clean okay Oh, great. Okay. And do you take advantage of the sun at all for your electricity or energy? No. Oh, no. Not yet. But oh. I will do this one day. Maybe uh, electrogenitria uh, uh, from the wind, you know? When oh. you collect uh, 
from the wind because Halkidiki it's a very windy place. Oh, I the think windmills. You're gonna have like a yeah. windmill. Mm -hmm. It will oh. be very nice to do something for a construction for for my house. That's smart. Yes. Yes, because we, we have to. We have the sun. We have the wind all the year. Mm -hmm. Because I was thinking just solar paneling, but to you, you're taking a step further because you know the place is very windy and you can take advantage of um, windmills. Yes, but, but it's a very, uh, it's in the in the future, okay? It's not something I want to, I want to do uh, very fast. <laughs> well, you're presenting it right now, you're presenting it to the universe, so just be open to receive it when it happens. And just direct it, you know, you be in the driver's seat while it's happening so that you can accept it and make sure how you want it, how you prefer it to be. Because right now you're living a life of abundance and, you know, it's just been thrusted your way and you've been very open like a student learning. And now you've become a great teacher. And this is, this is, yeah, I admire this about you, Maria. And, you know, so that we can kind of get into something else now, I would really like to take you up on this offer to do this again uh, in the summertime, you know, when, because this is winter right now, and you guys have how many feet of snow or what is going on there? Are you have snow? Right uh, uh, it was uh, in Athens, not here. Okay. It, it, it was a lot of snow there. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> we are not prepared uh, as a country for this uh, situation, uh, this weather thing. Uh, a, a lot of, uh, a, a little bit snow and uh, we, we are uh, dead. <laughs> All the country, nothing, it's mo moved. The schools are closed. The, the everything is closed. Uh, we can't deal. Uh, we can't deal with snow here. Okay. So, how much? Like, do you have snow out there right now? Like, how cold no, is it? No snow here in Haikidiki. <clears throat> it was uh, uh, Pionotia, uh, Athens, Athena. Oh, south, south. Yes, yes. It was south. <laughs> so the north but, is not affected. yes but two years ago we had almost half meter meter of snow here i wake up in the morning i open the window and i saw wow <laughs> and i was so afraid because it was so much snow we are not used to of it you know and uh, I was uh, I was afraid that the um, the roof from the stable will uh, break, uh, and I, I was afraid for my horses because it was uh, too much snow. It's uh, all the the stable. It's very light construction, you know. It's not for so I had to go and take all the snow down. <laughs> oh yes, I understand. You don't want the the you know the roof caving in absolutely, and your horses, and it's a yes. very lightly constructed uh, place. Um, how many horses do you have, Maria? Two, a mother and a daughter. <laughs> Is this the very first ones that you had that I mentioned, Lupita? And yes, yes, yes. She's now Lupita in a. Perimene. Uh, she was born in 1996, in June. Okay. So yeah. this summer she will be Kosiexi. 26. I don't know how many years in horses, how many years horses live or anything like that. So uh, uh, around 25, 30 years. Oh, wow. And it's uh, a big lady now. <laughs> and Griula. I Okay, and the daughter is, what is the daughter? Her daughter is uh, 16 years old. Okay, and are you still training children, uh, you know? No, no, no. The, the club I was uh, with my horses uh, 
uh, it closed. So I had to I had to take uh, my horses from there and uh, bring them home. Uh, it's nine years now, eight oh. years, nine years. I have them home, uh, and uh, my uh, proponitism. How I say my proponitism? My, my coach died. Oh, and uh, all the horses. Uh, he, his wife uh, gives all the horses around. I don't know. Uh, the, the, maybe they are not uh, alive now. It's it's uh, too many years ago. Oh yeah. Uh, and uh, I I have just my horses home, and uh, I I'm not I don't even ride. It's two years I didn't ride my horses because I had this accident with my knee, and uh, it became the um, hierarchy, the beginning for my wood carving. Okay, so let's get on to that then. Let's get on yes. to that. Let's get on to your wood carving, folks. Um, you know, it's not two years. It's three years. I uh, I found a puppy. In the middle of the road, a you dog, a puppy. Okay, yes. Yes. I bring the, him home, and uh, after a few months, he became very big, <laughs> a big dog, <laughs> a heavy dog, and uh, we was out outside for a walk, and uh, he pushed me, and uh, I fell down and uh, hurt my knee. You understand? Yes, I'm just. Yes. Yes. Uh, what kind of dog is it? Uh, I don't know if he's around. Balu, Because I also want to get onto your business, Maria, too, and Hello. you know what you offer for everybody. <laughs> Hello. My good friend Maria. <laughs> oh. Okay, you have to talk so I can see and say because a lot of people are on the radio. Okay, so Balu. this is Balu. Okay, okay, Balu, go outside. Ella Balu, exorcist. Oh, what kind of dog is it? It's, oh. uh, I think it's a mix. It's um, a Kilo. a shepherd. Yes. And uh, a Caucasus, Caucas, Caucasus uh, shepherd. I don't it's, know. Uh, from Caucasus, from the mountain Caucasus, uh, uh, they are. Uh, this this is uh, half half uh, Caucasus and half uh, she, she, uh, shepherd. shepherd. Mountain yeah. mountain dog. <laughs> Yes, yes. he's very, very smart and very, anyway, we was out and he just pulled me, you know, and uh, I had this accident with my knee, so I couldn't move all the summer, it was terrible pain, I couldn't go to work, so I, I had no money, <laughs> I was in a very bad situation, I had to feed a lot of animals, dogs, cats, horses, parrot, fish. <laughs> I, I have also a fish tank. And uh, I decide to do something to just to uh, make some money to live. And I start with, uh, I took my knife and start to make my first wooden feather. And then, and uh, that's that's how I start from this accident. And after, when I start to make a generally a wooden generally, and uh, I I saw that I have a talent to carve wood, and that's how I start to carve uh, driftwood and uh, make uh, other things from wood. And it's three years now, and uh, I'm very happy that I start. I love wood. I love. I love the smell. I love. Uh, I love wood. 
And so this, uh, you're on Instagram for people who want to see exactly uh, what kind of, uh, you know, productions, uh, you know, results from, you know, this hobby that you've designed and created artistically. It's just so beautiful. And, you know, and, and now you're selling these products um, on the market. And, and so for people who want to see more of it, they can go on Instagram and and see your instagram uh, www.instagram.com slash wood wild and i will have it posted uh, in the description box wherever this uh, social media platform that uh, you know you're here to watch or listen to and uh, you know just click on it and it will take you right there to maria's wood wild on instagram and she's also can be found on facebook and you can facebook find in the same yes wood wild you know her company is called wood wild products and can be found on you know instagram at wood wild as well as on her facebook page at uh, facebook.com you know slash wood wild and you know you can find maria haralambidu i have all of this I will have posted the, the links, the threads, uh, wherever the description box might be, and just click on it and it will take you there. And so you can see many of her photos and videos on her Facebook profile as well. See what you like and order by calling her directly even if you'd like. Um, so I don't know if I have your phone number on here. <laughs> so uh, your phone number so that's something i will also post on there how else can people buy your product how can they purchase it uh look uh, in the facebook in the page in facebook uh, i have only the jewelry uh, okay okay uh, in, in the other in, uh, in on instagram i have uh, everything i do okay it, i have uh, my carvings I have uh, jewelry, I have everything. Whatever I do with the wood, I put everything on Instagram, okay? I In the Facebook. Have... Yes, go ahead. Oh, no, and uh, I will do a soon, very soon, a uh, page um, on Etsy. Okay, and Weaverly, is it, what's it called? How do you spell that? Which what? That Sorry. you we can find you on Weaverly, the one before you Etsy. What's that one? I didn't hear it properly. What is that? No, no, I have uh, I've got only uh, Instagram and Facebook. Okay, this uh, these two pages I've got Wood Wild, both of them. Uh, I said uh, that uh, I want to make a, a store in Etsy shop. Yes, but now, so I, sell, but, so I can sell worldwide after. Right, but now, you said you you're on Waverly. Someone wants to. They like your product. They want to purchase it. How do they do it? I just uh, send me email, and we can do. I don't know how I can send uh, to United States or, but. Uh, you just mentioned I will, find, I will find the way. Okay, it's not a problem. Maria, you just mentioned we Weaverly. What is that? Something Weaverly you said. Right now, people are getting your products from Weaverly, and then you're going on Etsy. You just mentioned it. I didn't know what that was. No, no I didn't say anything. Okay, so basically, do you have a phone number? Contact number? Yes, I, uh, it's better my uh, email. My okay. email is better. Or they can uh, send me message from uh, from uh, Facebook or from Instagram. Okay, so then can you tell me what your is, can you, because I don't have it here, that would be great. What you want people to email you, where? Look on Facebook, <laughs> on Facebook, on uh, on my page on Wood Wild. Uh, if somebody, someone wants to buy something or uh, is is interested about something, they can uh, send me a message 
to my page, okay? And uh, we can uh, uh, talk uh, from there. Uh, I don't know if it's okay to give my uh, phone or my email address uh, okay. right now. If it's not okay, Maria, I just want to let you know that it is public for anyone who goes on your Facebook profile or yes. even your Facebook yes. page. It's public. Can I give yes. it out? Am I allowed? Will you let me right now? Ah, uh -huh. it's public. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I don't know if it's zero zero one or one one zero, but I just see here six nine four four nine five one. No, don't give my number. <laughs> okay. If you don't want your number listed. Uh, go into your Facebook page and remove it because it's right okay. now public okay. <laughs> for everybody. I'm telling you this. So don't come down on me. I'm just the one who's the messenger here who's seeing it. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maria, okay, I'm joking. I know I have my number there. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, the other thing is, can you please give me the email because you're telling me and i would think it's easy too that people email you if they want to know how to buy it and maybe the address whatever what is your email mama nook 13 papaki gmail.com <laughs> mama nook at? the u the u is o and u O M U, eh? like a Greek U. Okay. Mama Nook. Mama Nook, like the honey, Mama Nook. Like the dark Mama honey. Mama Nook. The, the Nook. Nook. The Nook in O K U. Okay, so it's M A M A N O U K? Yes. At? Mama Nook, the Katria, 13. Okay, Mama Nook, 13. 13. <laughs> at, because when she says papaki, it means at. Mama Nook, 13 at? Uh, gmail.com. Mama Nook, 13 at gmail.com. Yes. You'll be getting this uh, via, um, what is it, Google Drive. I'm going to email you this. Uh, recording right now the original copy so that you can also have and you have my approval to do as you may with it okay so that's going to be my gift to you afterwards and so folks if if you didn't get the message already and you really like her artwork and and so this this do you have when you do these carvings maria do you paint them do you put some kind of varnish on a, gl a glaze on them? How do you make them so that they're preserved when they're ready to go off into the market? Uh, first of all, some I I I'm using a lot uh, uh, olive uh, wood. Oh, that's beautiful! You know, because yeah. the olive is like uh, the willow, or even I don't know if it's bamboo, but willow is very like that. You know, you can work it, but then it dries. And it becomes very hardened wood, eh? Yes, but it's very, it's, you know what the, we, the Greek said that uh, the olive wood keeps memories. Is that right? Keeps memories. You can, uh, can you understand this phrase? Because it's very old. I have pieces that uh, from olive, uh, from olive uh, trees that are 400, 500, 1,000 old, old uh, trees, and I have pieces from these trees, you understand? It's very old, this wood, and it keeps memories from the universe. Uh, so you, um, because it's, uh, uh, it's a life organism, the oh, wood. Alive, it's an alive organism. Yes, it's still alive because it's working. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's always alive. Okay. Even if you cut it, if you cut and uh, restore it for many years, it's still alive. 
How okay. can I, I can explain it? Yes, I can't explain it. Yeah, no, you're explaining it just right. And because also uh, water holds memory too. Yes, so, that's it. Yeah. This piece of wood, this. And how you can explain it? It explains itself, it has a soul. And the yeah. essence. And see, a lot of plants that we eat are just essence. They're sentient beings. And we're taking the essence from the soul of the earth. Whereas this is a distinct plant on its own, a tree that also bears fruit that we also use like vegetables similar to the tomato. And it's also a little bit independent that it has, it's a soul, right? I didn't, I didn't know how to say it has a soul, I'm saying pnev, oh, pneumonic psyche. Oh, ah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. And so uh, I'm, I'm thinking that pnev, pnev, pneumonic is a spirit, right? Pnevma. Pnevma is spirit, right? Yes. And psyche means soul. Yes. And uh, for the <clears throat> yes, I paint the I paint I I'm using fitikiva uh, fi. Uh, how I say it in English? Um, I'm using uh, for paint my uh, yes. Um, ah, polisa. My pendants. Yes, I am using cassia, cassia, cassia. It's uh, from uh, the walnut tree. You know, takaridia walnuts. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> when you you want to open the nuts and your uh, your hands are after uh, uh, black <laughs> from the fluda from the the peel, the skin, yes, the skin, yes, yeah. from the skin. So this cassia thing, uh, it's a pain. It's it's um, you put a little bit in the water. It's like a powder, and uh, you make a black black. Uh, it depends how much you put in the water. You make a, a lighter or darker chroma. Um, um, color color. Yes, okay. that's fascinating. So, I didn't yes. know that. Yes, and you put it uh, on uh, yes. on the wood, okay? And uh, after you can make um, Boris Taxis is legal. I, I can't do uh, edge. To edge. No, you're saying to scratch. You but you can etch like scrape a little. You just said it. Yes. yes. So you can make the uh, you can uh, leave the shadows in the wood. You know, when you are wood carving, if you're not putting anything on your uh, on your wood carve, okay, uh, uh, you can see it only from one meter. Okay, uh, you can see what you did. But if you paint it and after make it with yellow um, carton when with sandpaper. Uh, some paper and make this shadow thing if you see it from 500 meters you can see the detail okay from very from very far because you have give to the to your creation this uh this uh, i don't know impression the yes death. yes because, uh, the lines inside have the color, this dark color, and if you scratch the surface after, you can see from very far away what you did. I will show you something, okay? I did it yesterday, okay? And Maria, it would be so amazing if you make like a, a little video or something of your work, how you do it. I made a horse yesterday, okay? Yes. Okay. In the the main, I put this cassia. You, oh. do, do you see that it's darker? Yes. I also put cassia uh, to the nostril and inside the ear and a little bit in the eye. 
all so, the grooves inside so all the grooves so it's darker a little bit darker inside so you can see the sharp it's, it's more sharper out after you understand what i say it's beautiful now? yes you can see the depth and you can see and the actual it. structure and, yes. yes and that's it uh, that's it and after i put uh, um, a mat uh, varnish uh, apopano and it's uh, mm -hmm. Maria, can you, can, can you show me the back of the horse too, please? Ah, it's it's something. Ah, it's another one. I will show you this one. But show it's me the back one. too. If I was to buy it, what would it look on both sides, please? Okay, talk so I can see it. Yes, talk so I can see it. Mila, a Spartan helmet. Okay. From the uh, and from the other side, it's a war horse. Okay, it's a Greek horse. That's beautiful. Can you can I you had, do it? Again? I had this, I had this idea yesterday, and it was just a flag. You know, I make the horse, and I say why I I like the mane. It's like from a Spartan helmet. The thing, and after after I say wow. I got this, and the other day I go from the other side and I make this uh, helmet. It was uh, it's far... just yeah. something I I have uh, this imagination. I have imagination, and after I I do what I uh, imagine. That's so beautiful. Can you show it to me again, the both sides and top while you're doing it, so everybody? I don't know. I'd like to see it. You want to see it again? Okay. It's this horse. Okay. First, first I made this horse. The first day I made this horse. Okay. Yes. And I say, and uh, I said, I I love the 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 mane. Okay. The hair of the horse. It's like a Spartan helmet. And it was just. You know this this click in my brain, and I say, "Wow, I will, I will make another one, this one, and I will make this Spartan helmet from the other side." And I just did it. Oh, that's and beautiful. I'm very happy with the result. I'm very happy. I like it very much. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful because right now the technology. The, I'm not so much of a techno uh, savvy person, and the Zoom thing. It's not showing both of us at the same time video, and it's kind of in and out showing you, then me, and anyway on the radio nobody can understand because they can't see it. Only video, right? Yes, and I can show you another one I did. I like Indians. I love them. From a child, I was always not with the cowboys. I was always with Indians. And uh, I still think that maybe in another life, maybe some, I was an Indian. So I like to carve horses, feathers, and Indian. And this is another one. Um, Pendant I make a horse, an Indian, and a feather, and it's both size too. Keep talking so I can see it. Keep talking. Yes, uh, that's it. That's uh, just some uh, some some ideas I like to carve. Uh, and how much is that, Maria? How much is that pendant that you're holding in your hand? How much is it? That half horse and it's separated by a feather an eagle feather and uh first nations indian how much is that pendant going for you mean how much it costs yes how much i sell them yes it depends uh to maria. who I'll, i will send it i will sell now, it maria i love it i want it how much is it right now <laughs> um the 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 ones uh, that are both side uh carved yes i give them 40 or 50 euro the other ones that are only one side it's uh, around 30 euro 
Okay, can you please show me them again, both of them, and just turn them one and twice, and the ones that are worth 40 euro? Can you show me again? But talk as you're doing it so I can see because this thing is wacky. It shows me instead of you. I will show you better. I, I made, okay, and uh, wait a second. <clears throat> Oh, and I love that plant. Oh, I keep going on to me again, folks. Oh, Maria. <laughs> Why is it showing me? It's not supposed to I show don't... me. It's supposed to show you because you have all these, and we have to describe what they are. Go ahead. Talk. I will show you the, my uh, my favorite, okay? It's uh, Indian with a wolf, okay? It's, uh, it was just an idea uh, because I love wolves and Indians also. And I tried to make a pendant and uh, that's it. It's an Indian with a wolf. That's very and beautiful. Is there anything on the other side? No, it's only from uh, one side. From the other side, it's just wood. And how uh, much is that? How much is that? The one with the wolf uh, in the middle, the Indian show us again? Uh, 40 euro that's but beautiful another one it's again wolf howling wolf and indian how much 40 euro <laughs> okay and that's <laughs> all my prices are from 25 and 50 it's the most expensive i think okay but uh uh, the normal prices are around 30, 35 euros. Uh, it depends how many hours I was working in, on any pendant because uh, this one, this one I made, uh, I made it uh, two days. I make them two days and I, I'm working with a knife, with a knife and uh, I, I'm not uh, using power tools. It's everything handmade with those. Uh... Nice, yeah, the, yes, exactly. The carver, wood carver, yes. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's uh, you need a lot of hours of working to make, to make it, okay? The grooves, the, grooves, the etching part, yes. Now, you know, when you showed me these ones, are they complete? Do they have the varnish, the glaze? They're complete now. Yes, yes, yes. They are. They are complete. It, it's it's uh, only the the hole is missing. You know, uh -huh. it depends uh, where. It depends uh, from uh, from the buyer. Okay, from where when he. Tell me what uh, when he wants the hole to make the the clip, you know, and the hook, and the cord, yes. you know, okay. in which uh, which uh, point he wants to make the hole for. Yes. So the some some of them I am uh, just uh, and this one, it was from my first wolf pendant. Yes. You can see it. Wait, ah, Etsy. Was the wolf and two feathers? That it's a little bit uh, bigger, but uh, I gave a lot of those pendants to uh, teenagers. They love them. What's on the other side? From the other side, nothing. It's just the wood. It's only from the the uh, front side. Oh well, you know? know that's Maria. Let me. Uh, you know that's really beautiful. But you have to put your name on it, like a little branding or some kind yeah, of logo. That's, that it's that's exactly what uh, what a friend uh, tell me that I have to I have to do this, but I don't I don't know how to do it. I have to think about it. Yes. Uh, a lot of people told me to do this, but uh, I don't know what, because my name is very long, you know, I can't put Maria Haralampidu <laughs> to my uh, to my pendant. Uh, I can only put W, Wood Wild, maybe. I don't know, I have to think about it. What happened? 
No, I'm just thinking that, you know, believe it or not, I have an acronym, you know, for Reverend Maria Arvanitidis, I put Rama, capital R, small M, capital A. That's how I do it because it's way too long. So now Good. it's like they, Rama or something, Rama, right? Rama, yeah, <laughs> R-M-A. Anyway, for you, I mean, I'm just gobsmacked, I guess you would call it because every piece that you've sold that doesn't have your name on it or your brand or something, my gosh, Maria, come on. Anyway. I, I, yes, and I had the two pieces <laughs> We didn't the say and I didn't have my name on it. We're very transparent really? here. Oh my God, we shouldn't even say anything. Well, maybe I should have talked to you about this before. But, um, you know, at the very least, you know, you put the wood wild, okay, WW, okay, and then put the MH and put a little circle or something. And, and, and have, uh, yes, I have to, I have to do, I have to think about it. You have to always. It, no, I'm sorry. Even if you don't, you know, but put the year or something. And also you can make it private for the buyer if they want something on the back, like how they do with wedding rings or something like that. Like put something special, maybe a mem or some kind of quote or something. Yes, special. Yes, yes, I, do, I do this. I do this. Some, some of them wants to, a name yes. behind. You know? I just uh, make the name. Okay. It's, exactly. Uh, so, but yes. Maria, please, please, all of them from now on, put M, M, H, M, H, M, H, and the year you did it, like 22, and also W, W, M, H, yes. year 22, you know, W, W, or W, W, 22, M, H, always, please, Maria. Yes. <laughs> Come on. No, I can't stand this because you're doing all this work and somebody else is going to be like, who's this? Yes. They won't even know who you are. No. Yes, come they on. don't. Yes, yes, yes. And Can you try to come up with some kind of, yes, let me see. Talk about I found it. a root. It, it's a piece of root. I found it on the beach, you know, and I make this, this, uh, this small horse. It's like uh, with a fish tail, something. <laughs> You see, it, it's on the original. It's I didn't do nothing with the root. I just carved here the head of the horse, okay? Because it was what I uh, imagine, you know, a unicorn. Okay, Maria, I see this to be a sixty-year-old. Huh? <laughs> I see this to be like at very least fifty to sixty-year-old. I'm sorry, but I have to tell you these things. And we're gonna, you're gonna have to come back on here again. And we're gonna off the scene here. Me and you will work on it or somebody. You need to come up with your own brand, a little logo. You like feathers? Then do a feather. A little feather with your name on top. You know, uh, you, know you can do Maria uh, H. And then always 22 where the, 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 you know, the feather stem, you know, is. And then on the bottom, WW and a circle around it something like a feather could be your your brand yes okay i'm just coming up with an example for say right just like a you need to you need to brand all your products so that you they know somebody special did this they give a gift they say who did this we don't know somebody yes Come but on. i don't know how to do it you know you mean to to carve from the yes. other side yes. behind yes. or, or yes. Uh, make a stamp with a fire some uh, pyrography or something yes eventually yes you're gonna have to but always leave your mark on it always leave your mark on it like who did this yes please mm -hmm. <laughs> i beg you <laughs> come on <laughs> And it's not just about money. You're leaving behind le a legacy, okay? This is a legacy. Yes. This is your legacy. And this is something I am working. Can you see it? Yes. It, it will be a hippocampus. It's a mythical Greek creature. It's a half horse and half fish, you know? And... Uh, I am working on it. 
It will be very, very, very nice. If I finish it one day. <laughs> I can't believe this, Maria. Um, you know, we're kind of going over an hour, but the, what I'm seeing here on your Facebook profile is uh, your Facebook page. What you have on there is exactly what you were talking about, the olive tree and how it's like a heart. It holds memory. You see the yes. picture. Um, this is on both sides. Do you have that? Can you show us and how much? What exactly? On your well, Facebook page, the Wood Wild page, you have two pieces of pendants, wood, carved out. I would think this is an olive tree with a heart around it. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's your final product, it looks like. You know, the two hearts, the two hearts with yes. the tree inside of it? Ah, the, the tree of life. Oh, okay. Your, your yeah. version of the tree yeah. of life. I love it. Yeah. Come yeah, on. You got to put, I'm sorry, please. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die here. You got to put on, you know, the actual heart near the end where the roots are or something. You got to put your name, M-H. And, you know, put a little, I don't know, like a kind of like a, where is it? Like, you know, like a little swivel and maybe a little bit like a feather, how you would do it. And then, you know how you have it here, the, the, the line from the feather, the tip, you know, the stock. Then put 22, make it artistic. And then on the bottom, put WW. No, you do it right on, show me, show me your hearts. Show me the tree of life. I want to see it and tell me how much. Show me both sides. I have, to, I, I have to take all my suitcase out to show you uh, how many. I have oh, I have uh, 1,000 pendants. Oh my God, you better get busy. <laughs> At no, least. you're not going to give not one single piece away until you put your name on it. You mark it with your, you know, please. And I, I also like <laughs> to... Uh, <laughs> I like to work with uh, shells. Uh, I like to work with uh, coconut shell. Oh, you that's know, beautiful. eat the coconut and from the shell make a jewelry. You see what I do? You know, keep talking so I can see it. Keep talking. Uh, ah, wait. Describe I can what do, it is. I can do a pendant from a coconut shell too, you know? can see it pop up you can do earrings you can do and it's a shell from the coconut that's great where's your name on it <laughs> no well on the back come on maria oh my but god I will, but i will do i will do another one horse uh it's a, it's a classical horse greek uh horse do you know bukefalas it was the, the uh, great alexander's horse bukefalas this is the bukefalas okay and and what's uh, on the other side is it your name on the other side somewhere in the corner on the no, neck no no it's nothing from the other side you got a lot of work ahead of you yes this is another spartan helmet i did this is uh uh for the for the greeks of the world you know all the greeks are proud from our history and uh, all the greeks loves uh leonidas and uh yeah, falcons and all the political the the sports and you know maria i'm very proud of you so please please show how proud you are of your work your creations, put your name, brand it, your mark, please. I promise I will do this. Uh, it, this was from a uh, drift, uh, driftwood. I just found on the beach, you know, a small piece of wood and I did the uh, eagle from it. You know, it was just a piece of wood, but uh, I saw something and uh, work it and uh, 
Yes, I, you know, you are right. I have to put my name. Yes. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna make me cry, Maria. You want me to cry here? I, you know, please. And you know, it saddens me because not one more piece will you give without putting some kind of mark that is your brand on it. Yes. And I already sold uh, a lot of uh, pendants without my name. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now, please, I hope that you don't need to be learned a lesson. <laughs> and then uh, even if it means put the Maria H or M H or something, you know, I'm thinking uh, maybe for your logo, like a feather and inside the feather, you know, M H. And then, you know, where the, the feather, the, the tip where they used to write with that part, yes. put 22 and then on the bottom, the, the bottom part of the feather wood wild or, you know, uh, oh, because, nice idea. Yeah. Oh, very nice idea. <laughs> yes, but because it's too big or something in your head, you know, you, you're not going to be able to afford to get that kind of, like you're saying, wood brand on it. For now, just etch it like uh, put MH, WW on the bottom. And then on the thing, you know, where you write it, 22 or something, you know, that's yours. Yeah, I have to think about it. Yes, yes. You have to, no, you have to put your brand, your mark, and leave your legacy behind. Who else is going to get it? And a lot of people will say, like, who is that? You know, please. You know, yeah. uh, Louis Vuitton. If he didn't put his, <laughs> you know, where would he be now? Yes, you know? yes. You know, and I was very lucky because I have a good friend on Athens, and he's a very good uh, uh, sculpture, sculpt. Oh, sculpture, yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, he is working with marble, the marmaro. Mm -hmm. No, and uh, he was uh, the reason that I put two of my pieces to a gallery last year and the year before. Bravo, bravo! Uh, but did you put your yeah. name on it? Yes, uh, it was uh, Apocato Egrafe Haralampi du Maria. Okay. But uh, I don't have my name on it, no. But I was very lucky because it was uh, a very big um, access, exhibition. Exhibition, you know, exhibit. exhibition. Uh, with, yes, with very, uh, with. Uh, um, and he had a booth there. Famous, famous people inside, famous uh, wood carvers and uh, sculptures and uh, uh, other artists, you know. And what and, was it uh, called? I, what, was, uh -huh. what was it called, the exhibit? What was it called? Uh, it was uh, Exodus Mesologiu. It was the name of the exhibition. And the gallery was Gallery Exodus. Exodus. Okay, so the next on, time, nothing. next time, you know, I really want to advertise big time what you're doing and you too, and as yes. social media platforms and you know, otherwise, you know. Who, yes, but you if know. you go to my Instagram uh, account, you can see everything I did uh, until today, almost. All my uh, carvings and uh, the big ones, I I have everything uh, there. Your craftsmanship, your design uh, is commendable. But you see, how much is each? You know, what are we looking at? Is there like a you know? Can you, can you put some like a price or something? I don't know how you're gonna do it, but people need to know. And also, you got to tell them, not when you finally get them, kind of like not be sure how much. <laughs> yes, you know, I'm not sure for the big ones uh, because I don't sell them. I keep them for me, you know, until now. Uh, I would like to make an exhibition one day only for me, you know, to put all my uh, things the inside. Gallery. Yes. Gallery, in a gallery. And uh, after I can sell some pieces, okay, but uh, because I'm a, a new, it's only three years I make this and I'm self tough, tough, self, self uh, tough. Huh? Yes, yes, yes. Self taught, yourself. Yes, taught. yes, yes. I learned by myself, okay. Uh, I start to make some lessons. Uh, 
but uh, with the virus, with the pesto. Ah, το μυαλό μου κόλλησε. Uh, with the pandemic, I think everything goes uh, behind. Oh, yeah, okay. With you COVID, can... COVID, COVID thing. Yes. And I, I, I stopped the lessons, okay? So I, oh, okay. I didn't do uh, did, uh, so much there. So I'm trying uh, by myself to carve and uh, that's it. Well, I love your, your, you know, these are such beautiful spiritual expressions, uh, you know, from your experience and the things you see through your eyes as an artist, as a creator. And, and Thank you, Maria. Yes. And sorry for my English. I hope your uh, friends uh, are not laughing with me. <laughs> uh, you know what? You need to be more proud of what you're doing. You know, I think that maybe it has to do the fact that you're a woman, because any man, the automatic, it would be right away, uh, you know, automatic, you know, um, for them to put their mark on it right away. You mm -hmm. see, it, it's something that, that they wouldn't even question it. It's like an automatic thing. They would put their mark on it. And I, what? <laughs> it's like, without a question. Yes. You put your mark on it. Put your mark on it. <laughs> I will do it. I will do it. But I, I'm not uh, sure with uh, which way I will do it. I will uh, carve it or uh, make uh, burn it like yes. a pyrography, you know? Yes, exactly. Eventually, you can get more fancy about it, right? But for now, just etch your name on there at the very least, dear. And the year you did it, even if you want to put the date on it, you know, the actual date. And also WW, like Wood Wild. That's your company. And so, yes. especially, and then you can work on what you, like I gave you an example, a feather as your, your logo, something like yes. that. That's just an example. But you can use it. Feel free to use it. It's yours. <laughs> yes, I like feather. I like, I, I carved a lot of feathers. I like it. <laughs> I would love to talk more to you about this, but I think we've gone, you know, Maria, uh, at least an hour anyway, talking about this. And I had no idea, but I have one more quick question. What is that plant behind you? What is that plant? It has like a little jack in the pulpit flower, I see. This one? Yes. Wow, this is a queen of the night. Is it? This is queen of the night. If you uh, put it on uh, Google, if you Google queen of the night, the flower, it makes white, oh wow, it makes uh, white flowers so big. It, it uh, blows only in the night. That's why it calls uh, Queen of the Night. And uh, until uh, it's uh, morning, you know, it's uh, it's the morning, uh, the, the flower is uh, finished. It's, uh, um, so it's only for a few hours, but it smells uh, like, I don't know how to say it, Seiko. What? The smell. It's uh -huh. like, like, uh, Kati Seiko. It's like something. Godlike? Uh, godlike? Huh? You're saying godlike? Yes, something like this. You, you can uh, come inside in the night and say, oh, it's something like, wow, it's this divine, divine smell, you know? Wow. And you see this big, big white flower. And in the morning, it's dead. The flower, it's uh, it's uh, it's finished. It's only for a few hours. But uh, really, uh, when we closed Google Queen of the Night, and you will see. And I have also the same in uh, red. Oh my God, Maria! I'm, I'm like I'm in love. <laughs> extraordinary, extraordinary! It's very, very, very nice flower. <clears throat> I have this uh, a lot of years, 
I I gave uh, to all my neighborhood. Everybody wants a piece, you know, and all my friends have uh, a piece from my <laughs> from my tree here. And uh, it's really from uh, the best and the nicest uh, tree I have flower. And you know, there's so much to delve into uh, your life and your experiences and what you have to share with us from your wisdom, from your knowledge, from your self-learning that, you know, oh my gosh, Maria. And you know what? Uh, when I came uh, first, uh, when we we had my, our uh, uh, our house here, okay, before it was only for the summer, and uh, I was young then. Uh, we was coming only for the summer and uh, the weekends, and uh, I didn't have this uh, this relationship uh, with the land and with the animals and everything. You know, everything came uh, after. Uh, after I took my first dog and I buy my first uh, horse and uh, and at that it was this was the start of everything you know the beginning after I buy this land you know I, I start to make my my uh, my garden I start to grow uh, my trees my uh, flowers uh, I had my my horses, uh, my uh, the cats, the my animals, everything, and everything after comes together, and it makes my the sense, you know. And uh, after you are you are um, you like this uh, lifestyle, you know, to uh, to live away from the people. Away from the um, from the light and from the noise and from everything, uh, yeah. you are waking in the morning and you just hear the uh, the birds singing. You know, uh, you are drinking your coffee in the garden and you see the, your animals and your flowers and you have this this. Uh, um, this uh, beautiful life and uh, I have uh, I will never 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 in my life goes again to the city never you're very self-sufficient and we haven't even discussed uh, your diet or your nutrition and how you go fishing and your adventures in the forest and you know there's so much like Artemis in the woods <laughs> yes, I love it, Maria in the woods I am like a goat. I am eating uh, only the green from the from the garden, you know, <laughs> like a horse, like a goat, you know. I'm... <laughs> salad, 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 salad. That's beautiful. And you know, you're teaching us the way of how exactly to take back your power, like from the city, from all the toxic, uh, you know, environments and yes, abuse yes. of power from the patriarchy, a very toxic society. Um, yes, and, that's and, it. and how to become empowered within your own light, your sovereignty, your sovereign light and all the many other colors that come with it that you know it's so beautiful that you're showing me what a colorful life you're living in a most abundant way that only rich people and aristocrats can say but they're missing it they're missing the mark they're not happy it's never good enough it's not enough because they don't have the depth what you are, that connection with the earth, the organic life, the, the, the natural way of living, one with the earth, and just so in love, you know, uh, yes, the joy that it brings into your life, because I'll tell you, Maria, your wealth is in your health. Yes, yes, and that's it. And how are you healthy? You know, you and it's it's all about your vibrance, your vibrating, you see, your frequency, and you're happy. 
You're not empty. You're not empty inside. Because no, people, no, people I'm not are, empty. People who are empty, have, yes. Yes, oh. sorry. I, I have many friends who are living like me the same way with uh, the garden, with their animals. Uh, I have no toxic people around me, you know, only a good energy people. Um, and uh, yes, because what the whole thing, Tothema, what we were saying is people who feel empty inside and they're just very shallow and they have that money, they have the billions of dollars. Ah, yes. Money is yes. It's the last thing I, I am think of the money. Really, this is the last thing. It's three years now that I'm not working. I stop working. Okay. I just carve and uh, what I uh, all my money is from uh, carving. Okay. Uh, and it's it's exactly how uh, how much I need to feed my animals and uh, myself and nothing more and but i don't want more it's enough for me you know i don't want to have a millions <laughs> i don't have i don't want a lot of money i just want the money i i need to feed my animals and uh, just uh, have a peaceful and uh, healthy life you know Folks, i don't like have the what it's like to be thriving. You're thriving. You're not surviving. You're thriving. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm super. I don't uh, have the need to go somewhere uh, outside or uh, to spend money for clothes or spend money for things. You know, people can live with so little things, but uh, this uh, global thing, this... Uh, Katanalotismos, postolene stanglika. Wasteful, this... wasteful lifestyle and the disease yes, of yes, greed. Yes. I don't need anything from this to live. You know, yes. you uh, you can live with uh, so little things, really. And uh, and the very good uh, thing is when you go to the supermarket uh, to buy something. You know and uh, you want to waste your money you know and you say wow i want this wow i want that wow i want this you just want to think at that moment it's uh, it's necessary and if it's not necessary put it back on the yeah, chances, chances are it's a junky food anyway and with many preservatives yes, but uh, I say that uh, a good way to don't waste the money is when you go uh, to a supermarket to buy something. Everything you catch in your hand, just uh, you have to ask yourself, it is necessary to buy it, you know? And you will discover that the 80% percent from what you want to buy, it's not necessary, you know? Maria you make a better life <laughs> with uh, a few um, with a less uh, spending of money you know in the, in the things you don't really need in your life less is more and what you're trying to get at is with everything in your life is called discernment you you were saying this you know it's not so much of a necessity because uh you know um this is a is, is it's it's more like a, a junky junky fast food thing uh, and you have your level of discernment like with anything else you're discerning you have your level of discernment and you have that and that's great now mm -hmm. in closing because we've talked a lot and i would love to have you on again and maybe again you know part yeah. three and <clears throat> so in closing maria is there anything you would like to part with us all to let us know what we can look forward to or something that maybe we can learn from or in closing how you would like to any last words you'd like to say 
I don't know what to say. I just want to say, don't uh, don't be afraid to start a life, you know, uh, with uh, with a gardening, with uh, um, you know. Some uh, sometimes a friend uh, tell me that you are so lucky you have this all, you know. And I said it was just a dream, and I make it uh, come true, you know. If you want something. You have to uh, do it. Just uh, don't uh, let it go. You know, if you want something to do in your life, just uh, you have to run after, and you will. Okay, you're saying imagine it, and then, <clears throat> and then with that imagination, move forward with it and put it into yes. action. Yes. Uh, that's uh, exactly that's that, that's it and so i i love your level of strength determination your willpower and your free will you see i love it uh you're all about freedom yes i love my freedom i love my freedom okay oh. maria it was an honor and a blessing from god to have you on here. Thank you so very much, Maria Haralambihu. Thank you for the opportunity to show my art. And I'm so happy that we are, then that uh, we talk. It was very nice conversation. <laughs> Thank you so much, Maria. Thank you.